Hey VC, how you doing? It's Bill with the Vonoverse. Back with another Vinyl Grabs video to show uh, some of the, some of the things I picked over picked up over the past couple months. Um, got a good bit to show here. A lot of cool things. Um, at least I think so. Uh, that I'm going to share. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump right in and try to get through this stack here. Um, first thing, recently picked up a seven inch. Um, this is a seven inch from Genesis from 1976 from the a Trick of the Tail album. This is a promo. Um, let's see their promotional copy. Uh, song Entangled uh, is the A side and then on the B side is Ripples. This has uh, some writing on it, but that wasn't a big deal to me. Um, haven't cleaned this yet, but the this, this single looks uh, pretty incredibly clean. Um, or, uh, no marks or anything on it. Uh, so this was a really cool find with the Atco company sleeve there. Uh, yeah, was excited to add this to the collection. Uh, this is a promo. So the, um, the two songs are actually edited. So it's edited versions of Entangled and Ripples. Um, they did put out a single with the full versions of those um, on 7-inch also, but on the promo, it's just the edited versions. And these are both in stereo. It's cool to get. Um, early January, January made it to um, a local shop here that I go to every now and again called Joys and Toys. I've mentioned them before. It's a little uh, old, kind of like old toys got a whole bunch of old toys and collectibles and stuff but he's got a lot of records and I walked away with a few things from there and um, the first is West Meets East this is um, by the great American violinist Yehudi Menuhin and um, the sitar virtuoso Ravi Shankar um, so this is kind of like um, classical music, um, but really great. Uh, I had actually had been looking for this uh, for a long time and was thrilled to see it there in the shop. And really great copy here. Uh, this was 1966, I believe. Yeah, 1966. Um, I believe this is an original, but I'm not 100% positive and when I say original I mean a uh, US original um, it's on the angel label there nice copy here um, yeah so I was able to pick that up which um, like I said it was, it was cool to find that that day I, I picked up two other things including uh, the Bee Gees Trafalgar, their 1971 release. I believe this was their ninth studio album. Um, it's got a notch cut out. The cover isn't in the best condition. You can see a lot of wear on the spine here. But um, I have always really liked this album. Um, the late 60s, early 70s era of the Bee Gees, I... Uh, tend to pretty, really uh, enjoy. This is also on Atco there. Um, I can't say I know all the albums all that well, but there's there's several uh, that, I, that I have and that I really like. Um, this being one of them. And, you know, I... Don't sleep on early Bee Gees. This, this is really good stuff here. Um, I really like... Uh, so th this had the hit, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart? That was a big radio Bee Gees classic. How, do, how, do you, how Can You Mend a Broken Heart? But um, I really enjoy... There's a couple songs here. The title song, Trafalgar... And then the track, It's Just The Way. Both are penned and sung by Maurice, Maurice Gibb. Um, 
He's got the um, rare lead vocal on both of those tracks. And the song, It's Just The Way, I think is just really, really wonderful. And he does, has a great, great vocal on that, that song. Um, so yeah, Bee Gees Trafalgar. It's a great album. Uh, and then, shocked to come across um, Absolutely Free by the Brothers of Invention. This is an album I didn't have. This is uh, the Mothers of Invention's second album. Of course, Frank Zappa there. Um, this came out in 1967 on Verve. And although the cover is a little worn, I mean, it's in pretty decent condition. And the vinyl is. Uh, plays great, really, and um, really plays great, and for what this album goes for, usually I got this really cheap. This was $10, um, an original, absolutely free, in awesome condition, so I thought I scored pretty, pretty well with those three uh, from my first trip to that store in the new year 2021 now um i'm gonna show a box set here um i'm a i love the band popol vu and as a matter of fact um Last year, they were one of my most listened to bands uh, on Apple Music. And I, I'm always looking to pick up their albums. I've never owned any on vinyl. And um, I just don't see them around this way. So John over at the Digital Gramoph Gramophone, he picked this up. And he clued me into, into it. Um, he mentioned that he was buying one, and uh, we hadn't discussed it previously. Uh, so I said, oh, wow, where did you get it? Um, and that site had it uh, on back order. They didn't have any more. So um, I was kind of a little bit defeated that uh, I was going to miss out. And then actually John found another site that had it for just about the same price. Uh, so here is five of Popol Vuh's albums in a nice box set. So for to get these five albums in all together at once would have cost a lot more uh, if I was to seek out uh, these albums online or whatnot so really happy to get get this box set um so it has three of their studio albums and then two soundtracks um their first album af uh Stunde. um this one here <coughs> that is um so popol vu is uh gentleman by the name of Florian Fricka. He was really the driving force behind this band. So Pupil Vu were right there, um, early 70s, right along within all the other kraut rock bands. Um, so their first album, Affenstunde. Uh, it says here, Debut LP by Popol Vuh features Florian Fricker's Moog synthesizer experiments at its most spirited uh, wild. So that's a good description of it. And then the second album is uh, their masterpiece of an album from 1972, Hosiana Mantra, right there. Just a gorgeous, beautiful um, album by them. It says here, with its spiritual theme, it shouldn't be heretic to consider Hosiana Mantra as a small miracle. An incredibly beautiful work of amazing progressive acoustic and folk music managing to sound as something completely unique. 
It is a really beautiful, gorgeous masterpiece of an album. And then um, from 1974, their album Eins Jager and Sieben Jager, um, right here. That's another awesome album. It says is a master masterpiece of lyrical progressive rock and quoted as one of the band's strongest albums. And I would agree with that. And then two soundtracks from 1976. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's a query, a query. Um, original soundtrack for the Werner Herzog movie, a query. Or Aug Augur Ray. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. And then also from 1978, the soundtrack to uh, Nosferatu, which was also directed by Werner Herzog and featured uh, Klaus Kimski as uh, Nosferatu or Dracula. So yeah, uh, really thrilled to pick up this box set. Um, I love it. Um... And a little side note, uh, off topic here. So I, I had some oversized uh, box set bags here that just had a flap. And I kind of came up with a little hack to put Velcro on here to keep it to keep it closed. Not sure if anyone's ever done that before. Uh, first time I ever tried anything like this, it's working well. Um, I haven't been able to find box set sleeves that uh, fit fit uh, these these types of box sets um, comfortably so I kind of got some velcro and cut it to size there if anybody has any suggestions for box set bags let me know down in the comments I'd appreciate it moving along um, these uh, grabs are kind of all over the place. Um, this next one is uh, La Fete or La Fete uh, Sauvage by uh, Vangelis, Vangelis Papathanasio. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name, but this is a soundtrack to that film. From 1976. This is an original French pressing. Um, it was a French film. So this is a uh, music composed and arranged by Vangelis. Um, really great. Uh, typical Vangelis um, synthesizer, but it also has a lot of. Um, uh, kind of uh, uh, percussive elements, a lot of uh, rhythm, a lot of uh, uh, almost tribalistic type of uh, music, and um, uh, really great. So happy to add this one. Okay, this was really cool. Um, this is a 10-inch. And this is uh, early recordings of Lead Belly, uh, Lead Belly's Legacy Volume 3. This is on uh, Folkways. Um, Folkways Records. It's FA 2024. This um, is early recordings of Lead Belly, recorded in 1935 in New York City. Um, so great kind of country blues. Um, <clears throat> songs like Pig Meat and Black Snake Moon. Um, I was really, re really happy to find this one. This one uh, was put out or posted on Instagram by uh, Siren Records, a local record store to me, and I called them up and told them I wanted it. Like all Folkways recordings, they come with a little printed uh, booklet. And this originally came out in 1951, I believe. Um, and from what I could tell, this is a uh, 1962 reissue. 
uh, it's kind of hard to place, but there is a copyright line here on the uh, B side that says, um, what does it say? 1951, 1962 Folkways Records and Service Corp. Up here. And the front, the uh, A side or side one only has a copyright 1951 down here. So, so I believe it's a pressing from 1962 from that copyright line on the, on side two, but I'm not 100%. I haven't been able to find out exactly. So this is great. Really love this. Um, okay, then follow me, please. Uh, got in another back order of Fiona Apple's debut album, title from 1996. Um, I was kind of resigned to the fact that I wouldn't get a copy of this. Uh, it's it's pretty expensive on Vinyl Me Please. It was uh, 51 or $2 or something like that. It's a double double album here on 45 RPM. Uh, so press on 2 LP, 180 gram, 45 RPM, black audio file vinyl. Includes 12 page lyric booklet. Um, so there's no way I was going to pay that for this. So I actually had some build up money in my PayPal account and I was able to put that towards this to lower the cost of this album for me. So yeah, I jumped on it. So uh, Fiona Apple, uh, this is a wonderful album by hers. Um, her, she's just great all around. I love the first two albums. I love the most recent album, um, but her entire discography is great. And uh, so to have this on vinyl is great. Okay, moving along, got. Um, couple more Tangerine Dream albums into the collection, which uh, I was really excited about. This is Tangerine Dream Live, also known as Encore. Um, this is a, it was came out in 1977. It had the uh, classic lineup of Edgar Froza, Chris Franca, and Peter Bauman. Um, so, uh, one of the best periods in Tangerine Dream, in my opinion, um, this is on Virgin, and here's the label with the, the Virgin Twins there. So, really great live album uh, by Tangerine Dream from 1977. So this live album was recorded during the North American tour during March and April of 1977. Um, and it's great. It's really, really great. So the Tangerine Dream collection continues to grow. Um, yeah. One of my favorite bands now. And then the other album I was able to get was the soundtrack to the movie Thief from 1981. Yeah, it came out in 1981. I've never seen the movie. Uh, it starred James Caan. Um, but the music is, is great. So electronic, um, some Really great guitar work by Edgar Furza on this one. Uh, <clears throat> and this is actually a gold stamp promo. You can see the stamp there. It's got a number of, or a serial of 026664. I'm not sure what that's all about. Don't usually see that on there. But this also is. A white label promo on a lecture there. So, yeah. Uh, 
So, growing the Tangerine Dream collection. Okay, almost done here. A few more albums to go. This album came out in... I think it came out in 2020. Uh, this is All Thoughts Fly by Anna v uh, Von Hal House Wolf. House Wolf. House House Wolf. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's Anna Von House Wolf. Um, this album was turned on to me early last year um, by Jacob uh, from the channel New Sounds and Old. Old. Uh, Jacob's based out in Denmark. Um, I think Anna von Hauswolf is uh, out of Sweden. Um, this uh, is just an amazing uh, kind of a modern classical album. And it's it's her just just her playing a uh, pipe organ and it is gorgeous. Um, if I had this last year and uh, we're doing a ranking video, this would have been right near the top. Um, just a tremendous, beautiful, gorgeous, haunting album. Um, when this was put out last year, uh, there was a lot of uh, complaints about the pressing quality. I think uh, it was pressed off center and it just had a lot of issues and I can't recall if they if they recalled those or um, if they just repressed it right away um, but it was hard to get I actually had this on order last uh, late fall so November time frame um, and it just didn't come in and earlier this year I was able to order a copy and it actually was um, pretty cheap um, and it came in and this pressing is great uh, no flaws whatsoever it plays beautifully it is perfectly flat it's not off-center um, so really happy to have it um, it's really really wonderful uh, so All Thoughts Fly by Anna Von Haus, Haus Wolf uh, there's her name there. Okay, next. Um, never had this album. Um, this is Tony Banks from Genesis. This is, uh, his album soundtracks, um, that came out in 1986. It says music from the films Quicksilver and Lorca and the Outlaws. Um, so that's what it is. It'll show you on the back here music from the film Quicksilver, music from the film Lorca and the Outlaws. Um, and uh, it features vocals from uh, Fish on one track and fish was in the band Marillion. He's that's what he's known for. Uh, it also has uh, a song called line of symmetry that has uh, vocals by Toya. So Toya, the, you know, the English singer, um, who's still pretty active today. Um, but this was a cool, cool find and it's on Atlantic. So Tony Banks, the great masterful keyboardist from Genesis and his album soundtracks. Nice clean copy of that. Okay, and then the final thing I picked up. Um, Michael in Germany uh, and his channel 45 RPM audio file. He recently put out a couple videos around Frank Zappa and talking about the audiophile reissues from Frank Zappa. And uh, he convinced me through his video to pick up Zappa in New York. <coughs> uh, 
This is a triple live album. It's the 40th anniversary um, of this album. It came out in 2019, I believe. I don't see it on here, but I think it came out in 2019. Um, so kind of that triple gatefold. So yeah, Michael's videos were really great, him talking about these uh, reissues. And um, when he talked about this one, it was one that I don't have in my collection already. Um, it prompted me to go check out Amazon to see if they had it available. And sure enough, they did. And it was actually on sale. So it was about, I think it was $13 cheaper than the normal price. So um, I didn't hesitate. I jumped on it. And I haven't had a chance to clean this yet and listen to it, but... I am definitely happy to have this. Um, I have the CD, but um, never had it on vinyl. So, Frank Zappa in New York, the 40th anniversary edition. And I actually have the, the wrap here with the hype sticker. And it says, in celebration of its eventual release in 1978, this 40th anniversary edition features all analog mastering of the original album mix, unavailable since first issued, plus an additional LP of select bonus content from The Vault, and new liner notes from Ruth Underwood and Ray White, pressed at uh, Palace, Germany, on 180-gram audiophile grade vinyl. And you got the audio file quality uh, vinyl sticker there. So, um, thank you, Michael, for the recommendation. And um, really looking forward to getting that clean and ready to go to listen to. So, wow, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, so, some pretty cool stuff. And you probably noticed, for those of you that know me, um, I've been very much into jazz lately, and I didn't show any jazz pickups in this video. Uh, I'm going to keep that separate for another future video, because uh, I do have a bunch of jazz albums to show. Um, <clears throat> so, um, a lot of cool stuff. Um, hope you like seeing this stuff. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, what you thought. If um, if you have any recommendations for box set sleeves, let me know. Um, I'm pretty happy with my little hack with the Velcro. We've done that on a few boxes. Um, so for now, I'm, I'm content with those. Um, and with that, I'm going to sign off here. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you soon in another video. Take care now. Bye.